Hey guys, my name is Shoma and I'm a designer and creative developer with expertise in Webflow. I strive to create engaging and memorable user experiences. Um, therefore, I started to work with GSUB in my projects. It was a game changer. Uh, I created my first uh, GSUB animation five years ago. Since then, I work on different projects and become a Webflow partner. Then I started to make Fluid Blocks, uh, which is ready to use JavaScript functions uh, that you can use for micro interactions on your site. But I want to create something better. So here's my GSEP course for Webflow designers and I want to create a course that I didn't find when I started to learn JavaScript animations as a Webflow designer. I researched a lot and I had to learn by myself. I hope this course will save you tons of time because I gathered all of the information that you need as Webflow designer. The course notes why we use GSEP instead of Webflow's IX2 platform. Uh, we started with uh, some basic understanding of GSEP. Then you will learn scroll animations, SVG animations, easing, staggering, GSEP fit, and so on. I believe that the best way to learn is by doing, that's why I've included real life projects where you will create your own animations from scratch. There are page loaders, text animations, hero animations, uh, CMS item animations and so on. So get ready to roll up your sleeves and create something amazing. And that's the wrap guys. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek into the Webflow in Move JavaScript course. Remember, the course is in progress. The target release date is Q3. As you've seen, GSAP is a powerful tool that can take your Webflow animations to the next level. Bye.